Oh, oh guys, sorry. Hang on. <clears throat> What's up, brother? I'm eating cottage cheese. Listen, I got a new way of doing it, okay? So, here, let me turn this down. So, when I eat cottage cheese, like, I'm the only one here. I'm the only one that's eating. And I always get out of bowl, or I always dirty a paper plate. But why? Why am I doing that? So, now, I just eat it right out of the tub each time, and I add more pepper each time. So, by the time I get to the bottom, it's, like, super peppery. It's so good. What, cottage cheese? I don't know. What does? Um, I don't know. Cottage cheese tastes like cottage cheese. No, it's not. It's delicious. Yeah, nobody, Stardust, nobody else is eating out of here. I mean, not eating cottage cheese, you know. My parents, like, I'll cook for me and my parents or whatever, but they're not eating the cottage cheese, so. Yes, with pineapple, uh, peaches, blueberries. I like cottage cheese just plain. Um, the more pepper, the better. And I don't care. Even if I have fruit in it, I got to have pepper in it. Yes, PJ. The more pepper, the better. Okay, so tonight, don't forget, tomorrow I'm going to do a 24 hour because it's my 30 days. I was going to do it tonight, but I ended up hanging out with my parents today. We found some fried green tomatoes finally, where I did. Um, my dad got some squash and zucchini, so we fried that up. Oh, it was so good. And then my mom had some meat, put that on the grill. Oh, my ears are itching. <clears throat> uh, went to the store, grabbed a few things for dinner, watched shows with my parents. Played with the neighbor's dog. I'm still at fucking eating. Hey, Shelly Ray. Hey, Chelsea. Amanda. Stardust. Abby. Shortcake. PJ. Everybody. Billy. Caroline. Ugh. Now I'm getting full. Because she forgot what I look like overnight. I'm just sitting here in my pajamas. That's why I don't have it on. My boobs kind of hang out of this. And plus, I'm not going to be on long tonight. I want to watch this documentary that I found on Netflix. It's something It's something case with a blonde chick on it. It says it's it's underneath my trending. So, I want to watch that. See? I'm eating cottage street cheese straight out of the container. Ryan, not to strawberry shortcake. I'll walk it off. And plus... Cottage cheese isn't that bad for you. Mm. But I did eat. Before I started digging into this, I ate an ice cream sandwich. It's red. Can't see him, but neither. Why are you grossed out? There is nothing fucking gross about fucking cottage cheese. You'll love it. Try it. This is Prairie Farms. Any brand is good. I like Kroger brand, Walmart brand. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna put the grossness away. I don't know, Shelly Ray. It's on Netflix. It's something in the case of, and it has a blonde girl on the front. It's under documentaries. I haven't seen it before. Mm -mm -mm. It's not. Yeah, check it out, because that's what I'm going to be doing. There goes Royal. Oh, sorry, buddy. Have you been? You might be lactose intolerant. Which, hey, Mitsu. Which one is it? Corn Dogga. Corn Dogga. Send it to me again, Caroline. I'm sorry. I'll look into it. You can't have lactose. Quit, Royal. Royal's being a nuisance. Trying to lick, eat all the cottage cheese. All the curds. Huh. Watch out.
I just got a piece of watermelon, right? And I dipped it in cottage cheese. Yes, I did. Back up, back up. I'm gonna eat it. Yep. What's up, Deja Vu? Charms? God, I'm fucking full now. So what did you guys do today? Billy, what'd you do? Did you go live? Billy, you should go live. Happy Sunday, Chubby Cherub. Cars. You guys do today. What do you guys eat? No oh, good. No menopause. You're drying up. I don't want to go through it, but also I don't want to have periods anymore. So if you get a hysterectomy, will you still go through menopause? Fish and chips and salad, chickpea curry, gardening and cleaning, went to Outback. I like bruschetta. Damn it. Well, we stayed up late last night watching videos and reviews and working on crosses and doing all that. So I slept pretty good today. I woke up about 9.30 or so. Did, and then I went to Starbucks, as you know. <clears throat> Came back home. I chilled for a little bit. Then my mom called and was like, I'm going to put this pizza in the oven. Do you want any? And I was like, hell yeah. So I went over there and had a couple of pieces of pizza. It was cardboard pizza. It wasn't anything great, but it was all right. Ate that. Man, I got to tell my mom, I'm just tired. So I took an hour nap, woke back up, swept the house, wiped everything down, vacuumed um, Heaven's Workshop, did some laundry. Then my dad was like, go find some fried green tomatoes because I want it for dinner. So I went around all the farm farmers, every, well, the farm stands, and everybody had sold out. So I asked Bargain to Google it, and she said there's some at Meyer. So I went to Meyer, and sure enough, they had some. So I grabbed it. Came back home. Ah, those fucking <clears throat> mosquitoes got me. Thank you, Melinda. I will deja vu. Then I came back uh, to my dad's house. Uh, me and my mom fried. Well, I fried it up all the zucchini and fried it. She did the dishes and my dad cooked some meat on the grill. We watched TV. We watched a couple crime shows. Then we watched a couple game shows. There's this one show they like to watch called Pyramid. Um, we were watching we watched that. What was the other one? Steve Harvey show. I had a like shop. I'm, I want one. I just don't want to have a period anymore, though. I don't know if they'll just let you have one, like, voluntary. I don't know. I don't know, Shelly Ray. Mitsu says don't. Do not do it. So tomorrow is my 30 days. Um, I want to do a 24 hour live stream. I also tomorrow I need to go to fucking Hobby Lobby and look for some more black beats. I just don't have enough. I do not have enough to do anything that I want to do um, with the, uh, not the crosses, the musical notes. So I need to go there. And of course today when I needed them, Hobby Lobby's closed. So other than that, I have nothing to do, but I do want to do 
like either a long live stream or maybe go 24 hours. I don't know. Damn, Chara. Dried up like a Sahara. Damn. Graphic tonight. It's Sunday night. Did you guys go to church? In honor of our Lord, they are close. So it's Chick fil A. The job. I caught the tail end of a religious program when I went over to my dad's and we were eating the uh, pizza. My dad didn't want pizza. He, had, he threw a fit and decided to go to Dollar General and he went to McDonald's. I didn't want McDonald's and neither did Lana, so we ate the pizza. He got zucchini and squash while I was out. I guess make up for the McDonald's. I don't know. My mom made cookies. Uh, she overcooked them. They were the kind like you cut off and bake, but she overcooked them um, this time and they were really hard. My dad warned me, you break your teeth trying to eat them. I took a bite anyways and about broke my teeth and trying to eat them. In the truck cabin. Yeah, I'm still tired tonight. I don't know, Royals poop. Lena. Lena is my niece. Lana is my stepmom. In case I missed something. Quit being a hater, Strawberry Shortcake. You're like, ew to everything. People can be whatever the fuck they want and eat whatever the fuck they want without you saying ew. You're a troll. Sorry, I'm in menopause. Yeah. Huge ass. Day 29. $29 million, everybody. Everyone hashtag huge ass. Hey, Nikki. Huge ass. That's her uh, walk in, her entrance. <laughs> $29 million cheers. It's supposed to storm like hell here soon, too. We need the rain. I hope my potato. How do you know if your potato plants are still growing? Because at first, when I when I put them in the ground, like within a couple of weeks, they had flowers on them, right? Well, now they just look like big vines. Thank you, thank you. Tomorrow's the big day. I'm excited about tomorrow. Thirty fucking days. Um, <clears throat> how do you know if the vines are still there? I mean, they just look like weeds now. So I suppose they're still growing. But how do you definitely know when they're ready? That's what I'm saying. They look like they've died down to me already. PDQ. Oh, I'll show you guys tomorrow. I feel like... Are they dying? Hey, gnarly toes. <coughs> yes. Melinda. Me too. When the top dies, they were ready to harm. Well, they're, it's not like dead, but it's like kind of just been over. Thank you, Shelly. Huh. So I ate that remoulade sauce that I just had to have, you guys know, and I like burnt the shit out of my mouth. I and mean, I didn't expect it to be as spicy as it was. My dad loved it. I thought it was a bit spicy. I mixed it with ranch. My mom didn't even try it once I said it was spicy. Um, but yeah, it burnt the shit out of my throat and my tongue at first because I just put a big glop on it and then just popped it in my mouth on a zucchini. Bad decision.
tired tonight. I'm tired, and I, th I found some face masks in my middle closet, and I think what I'm going to do is exfoliate my skin and do a face mask, because I was talking to people on Twitter the other day about um, skincare regimens, you know what I mean? And a lot of people were like, you got to exfoliate and a lot of moisturizer. Well, then don't watch, Pan. That's easy. I'm going to start doing that, though. That's what they say. You got to moisturize. Pepper, spice, harsh food, sweet. I know, but I... <coughs> fuck. Sorry, drama. I love spicy shit. Like, I love hot wings and blue cheese and all that. And I haven't been able to eat it since I've had ulcers. But I really feel like my ulcers are healing. Because when I do eat spicy things, it doesn't upset my stomach. It just burns the shit out of my mouth. Right, Chubby Cherub? The green, yes, I still have that. I don't even know what that is. I mean, the right. I, I have retin-A. That's what I need to start using more of. I'm going to put it on my face. That also helps wrinkles. Supposedly helps acne scars. Now, someone told me also, do you remember they said to use cod liver oil? Has anybody heard of that? To put cod liver oil on your face and it supposedly helps scars. We put it on my stomach too. I don't know. It's supposed to work. Me either, but it stinks. Vitamin E oil. Is that what you use, Sheriff? You hippie chick. Yeah, you're right, Mitsu. But every once in a while, I just get a taste for something spicy, mainly like a wing or like today. Okay, one time I I can't remember. Actually, of all people, it was with Orange, and we went to this place in Speedway. It's called Dawson's, and they had this really, really good calamari there. And there was this sauce, and I was thinking the sauce that I bought the other day, the remoulade sauce, would be that. No. No. The closest thing to it is like boom boom sauce. Hey, Northeastern. But spots here. Hey, Melissa. No madness is. I didn't know she was in the soap business. I haven't watched her in a while. Well, I have written A, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to start putting the clindamycin on my face, too, and maybe that'll work. Uh, along with the moisturizer, I do have Olay. I've always had that, and I have Cetaphil face wash. Start doing it every day, and then put that face cream on it. Must be new. It'll tell me when PayPal comes up. Give me one second. What do you put? I know you guys know everything. What do you put on mosquito bites? Because those ones that I got the other day are bugging the fuck out of me. Like on my arm and over here and on my back. I keep itching the hell out of them, too. My mom had this, like, uh, or they had, my mom and dad had this uh, clear gel stuff I put on there. Yeah, it was like cow lime lotion. It worked for a little bit, but it's back bigger than ever. 
itch the shit out of me. Clear finger nail polish. Yeah, the last thing I want is to get like red mark. That's when I'm scared it's gonna happen there. I'm like, oh no. Oh no, you don't. I have aloe vera. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find. Hey Siri. Netflix. Netflix. It doesn't look like you have an app named Netflix. You can search for it in the app store. Netflix documentary. Hey Siri. Netflix. Netflix documentary. Okay, I found this on the web for Netflix. Netflix documentary. Check it out. Hold on a second. This is what I looked up when I found it. I don't know what it's called. It's got a picture of a blonde chick on it. No, it's not the Pam Anderson one. I didn't think that Pam Anderson one was that good. No good. It's a crime documentary. Hang on. We could probably watch it. If you guys want to watch it, we could watch it on here. That's the cool thing about Twitch. You can listen to music and you can watch a video. We watched a movie the other night called, what the hell was it? I like drama line between the camera and Katie. That was Babos. Babos always sleeps beside me. Usually drama will either sleep at my feet or above my head. Don't tell a soul. Yeah, don't tell a soul. That was a creepy fucking movie. But I like those kind of psychological thrillers. Have you got, do you remember the Michael Douglas movie? And it was old. It was called The Game. It's still out there. I rewatched it not too long ago and it got me again. I think that is a good one. When I was younger, do you remember the movie Island of Dr. Monroe? Val Kilmer was in it. Marlon Brando. Creepy as fuck. They like turn animals and humans um, like Mix them together. Anyways, it was a super creepy movie. Well, at least me and my young soul. I was fucking scared to death. But yet, I would watch other movies and just, like, be able to bounce around, like, scream and all them never bothered me. That Island of Dr. Monroe creeped me the fuck out. The older one and the newer one. You watched horror last night? I don't get into horror movies that much. Hey, Siri. Crime documentary on Netflix, 2023. Here are some crime and documentary selections released in 2023. Right. None of these are it. Bad vegan. That's nothing I want to see. The first kill. I don't know. People scare me. Monsters don't. And I don't believe in Hocus Pocus. I don't believe in fucking spooks. New food documentary. Bad Vegan is good. That was on the top ten. It was number two. Are you a bad vegan, Baba Ganesh? Up in this baby tin. <laughs> Where's drama? Oh, there's Bobo's up there. Drama is eating her moist food. Watch what you said. Where did you send it to me again, Caroline? Which platform? Instagram, Twitter? Or did you just send it to me again? Have you guys tried the feta cheese and wa um the watermelon feta cheese salad with a little bit of balsamic glaze? Oh my god, it's so good. Where it, it probably would be good with goat cheese too. With like fresh basil, fresh mozz. Need to try it. It's very, very good. I got more feta cheese today to make more. You rant watched last night in solo. What, Mitsu?
Yeah, a few people sent me clips. I guess Hussy and Noodles were together running the streets of fucking New York, going to brunch, eating fucking $23 plates of Eggs Benedict. If you came here, that, that was not $23 worth of food, what I've seen. That looked like a $10 plate at fucking Flapjacks or the breakfast company. What do you think? Do you think they're getting it on? They were flirting pretty hard. I don't know. What do you think? That's what I was thinking. I think they went on. I only seen uh, a little bit. I clicked in for a little bit. Someone sent me a clip and was like on right now. And I watched and I was just like, what the fuck? But I guess they went on live like two or three times today. Eating brunch, drinking mimosas, flirting with other gay men. Is Noodles gay? Because he was taking it like a champ. Hussey spent $190 on him altogether. Oh, did Hussey buy brunch? On them. Oh, my God. Did they get a hotel? Maybe they're getting it on. He said Hussey is rich, pays 4K a month, and has a ton of money. For rent? I've heard him say that before. Yeah, I don't know. That's just crazy. That's what he says. He pays 4K. Well, yeah, because he's on disability, it's taken care of. That is correct. Huge ass right there. I know, Mitchell, but that's just what he says. People will watch whatever they want to watch, you know? There's an audience for everything. There's room for everyone on social media. So if you feel like starting a channel, just do it. Believe me. And I'm back, back again. Hazzy, Billy. And the fried green tomatoes were really, really good. Um, I... Well, I cut them, of course, and then I let them dry out, and then, of course, put them in the flour, then the egg. Then all I did this time was just use cornmeal. They were really crunchy. I'm just going to use cornmeal from here on out, not mix it with flour or breadcrumbs. Well, good for him being rich. Uh I'm going to be filthy rich one day, some way, somehow. All right. Selling crosses. <laughs> Good on them. Deja vu. When I seen it, it was on YouTube. The clip that I got sent, and when I uh, clicked into it, it was on YouTube. Check there.
Mineral said he's rich. And I say good on him. Good for him. I don't know, Baba Ganesh. That's a good question. How much is it? How much you gotta have to be rich? Hmm. Could be right. You guys, this is a s'mores ice cream sandwich that met Kroger last, or well, it was the week before last. They were two for five. I got these and the cheesecake ones. My parents like the cheesecake ones better. I don't. I think these s'more ones are delicious. It's a s'mores, um, like cookie type thing, right? So it's got a graham cracker cookie on the outside, marshmallow ice cream, and then in the middle, it's like a chocolate layer, a hot fudge chocolate layer. Delicious. I'm not rich. I'm fucking poor, but I'm going to be comfortable. I don't think I'll ever be filthy rich, but I think I'll be comfortable again one day. I know I will be. There's no other option. Or you didn't know how these famous. He has that film crew following him around. Hey, butterflies. Hey, Penny. I didn't say hi to you already. <laughs> 